Hello everybody, welcome to One Drink, a podcast where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Matthew. And I'm Oliver. And this week, we're talking about the Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. So, Super Bowl's coming up, you know, season is coming to an end. Yep. Um, unfortunately, you know, I'm out. Yeah. Um, I've been out. The Giants have been out. For Packers fans, disappointing as always in the playoffs. Yeah. Good game, though. They all were good games. Well, yeah. You're a San Francisco fan. Yeah. I'm not. But I'll tell you what, though, on the football line, the Georgia Bulldogs. They did win. National you right. champs. Q Alabama. <laughs> no tide. Yeah, I'm no glad. No tide. I'm glad on that point because I'm just sick of Alabama. Dude, it was like the Patriots when Brady was there. You know what I mean? Just, just every winning year, and the winning, same and winning, winning and winning and winning and winning. And to see someone new come in, win. Yep. I like it. Yeah, and they haven't won a national championship in like 30 years. So the Bulldogs. Yeah. I was great. proud of them. That was I'm a good game too, that. actually. Yeah. So. Actually, the coach of the Bulldogs is one of Nick Saban. Or uh, yeah, is one of Nick Saban's like proteges. Oh. Like he used to work for Saban for like a long right. time. So. Well, and it shows. And Saban had beaten him, you know, like seven times. You know, the last like seven <clears throat> times they met up, or whatever. So. What a great feeling that must have been. Oh my god. When the student just comes to the master. Oh, you know what I mean? And now you know it's like so it's like now Nick Saban's career. You know. He's mm-hmm. done it all. I mean, come on. Yeah, just dude, just, just just got move on. million national championships. Move on. And just retired. Yeah. Yes, just retire. Just retire and watch the halftime show of this year, which is Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar. That's a pretty dope hip hop lineup. It's great because the the Super Bowl is in um, Los Angeles, right? Mm-hmm. At the new yeah. The Rams yep, Stadium. The Rams Stadium. Okay. So, it's a crazy lineup. Yeah. Super With cool. The lineup. biggest stars in the rap game, you know, whatever. I ask you this, though. Who do you think is going to come out, like, first? Or will it be a group thing? Or, you know what I mean? Because um, they're all, all going right. to have to get so their little. So it's Eminem, Mary J. Blige, right. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Kendrick Lamar, and Dr. Dr. Dre. Dre. <laughs> All right, five dollar bet. Five dollar. Five dollar bet. Yep. Um. Shit. I'm gonna say <laughs> Snoop mm. is gonna be the first one out. I really want to say Eminem. Uh, yeah, I really uh, want to say Eminem, but I think that Snoop is gonna come out first and just do his thing and just you know just uh and then I think M is gonna come in. Right. You know what I mean? Like, after the first hook of whatever song it is, uh-huh. and just destroy. So, all right. So, you're going, Snoop. I'm going to go... I mean, I just don't even know. I'm going to go Dr. Dre. You think Dr. Dre is going to come out first? He's going to come out... That's a safe bet. He's going to come out and do, like, uh, something... Not old school, but... Or... It's not going to be Mary J. Blige. I really don't think that she's going to start. Do they all have a song together? Do you know? I don't. I don't know. Because if that's the case, <laughs> well, obviously Dre and M have a ton of songs together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Snoop has. Some... M is definitely on something that Snoop did. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to go Dr. Dre. He's going to come out and kind of like get right. the party started. All right, I'm saying. Damn, and then... I really think it's going to be Eminem. <laughs> I'm going with Snoop. And then I was thinking, going through, and then in the back of my head, I was thinking, it's going to be the, oh, everybody talk about something to say, you got to understand, you got to jump the and understand. You know, you know what I really hope, <laughs> you know what I really hope is if, you know, like everything is dark, right? And then just like one spotlight comes down and he starts... I'm Slim Shady, yes, yeah, I'm Slim Shady, I'm the real Slim Shady. I hope it just starts out like that, and then, like, all the lights on the stadium go on, and everybody's going fucking yeah. nuts, man. It's just so unpredictable with that big of a lineup. Mm-hmm. I hope they don't, I mean, it's almost like a mini concert. I know. <laughs> so, um... It's gonna be sweet, though. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be sweet. And I hope the Super Bowl is good to go along with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? So... Now, I'm going to go with, I would like to see St. Louis. I'm going with the Rams, too. I just want to see Matt Stafford. He needs it. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. 
I, plus, I mean, look at last year. Mm-hmm. The Super Bowl was in Tampa. Mm-hmm. This year, it's going to be in L.A. Yep. I would like to see. I would like to see Stafford win it. Yeah, I really would. In, plus, he's a bulldog. He's a he went to he was he? UGA quarterback. Yep. Oh, I didn't and know And he that. was playing quarterback there when I was there. Oh shit. In Athens, yeah. So, you know, he's due. So yeah, yeah. he's due. The for AFC it. Chiefs and um, both of them. I'm tired of the Chiefs. I'm Chiefs all and who? And the Bengals. Oh, which fuck Joe Burrow. I would like to see the Bengals too, though. Nah. It's it's either it's so I would like to see a Bengals Rams Super Bowl. I don't want to see the Chiefs. I would like to see. I'm just sick of them. I mean, you know what? I would like to see the Chief, the the Bengals go because yeah. they've never gone before. That's what I'm saying. Just to be but like, I hate hey. Joe Burrow. Oh, so do? I hope, yeah. So I hope that the Bengals make it to the Super Bowl, <laughs> and I hope that the Rams just demolish Joe Burrow, just I'm, embarrass him. I'm going to tell you right now, the Rams look tough. Rams look good. Their defense. Packers their defense. already beat them this year, though. I know. You know. That would have been that would have been a sweet game oh. to watch for the NFC Championship game. Rams Packers at Lambeau. Oh yeah, that would have been a sick game. That would have been good. That would have been a sick, sick game to watch. But unfortunately, <clears throat> you know, fuck me, right? <laughs> so um, there have been many, many halftime shows. Yep. Um, what's which ones stick out to you that you kind of like are like, oh. So, first, I don't know, you know, how many people know this, but um, for a lot of years, um, the halftime show was pretty basic. Um, it normally would feature like a college marching band or two. Um, in 1960, uh, the first halftime show uh, consisted of, this was before the Super Bowl era. Right, right, right. Uh, it was when it was just, you know, AFC and NFC. Yep. Got it. Um the the Liberty Bell, um, Liberty Bell was performed by uh, the University of Arizona Symphonic Marching Band. Ah, that'll really draw a crowd. Um, but then in 1993, <laughs> Michael Jackson oh turned the Super Bowl halftime show into must watch television. Um, and you know, I mean, I- I've never seen that halftime show. I haven't either. Um, I'm definitely going to look it up. I was going to watch it, but then I didn't have time and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. But Michael Jackson, the I can only imagine what the Super Bowl halftime show was like with Michael Jackson because it's not like he's going to do a little show. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? He's, he's going to blow it. all the doors off and just set the trend, with which, so, which he did. Yeah. You know? So, um, but ever since then, you and know what, what I mean? year was that? 93. 93. So he has all his hits. Yeah. He has that catalog. Of oh, them. yeah. And they're massive. And everybody knows yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I thought that was cool today. But they also say that uh, today's performances in the Super Bowl require as much preparation as the Oscars and Grammys do. I'm sure. To put on. But you think about it, though, man. They got stages that move. and they Well, first off, they have to put the stage there. Together in like a minute. Do the show. Yeah. And then take it all back away. In like twelve minutes, yeah, fourteen minutes, whatever it is, you know. What I, mean? I think they run a little bit longer, like fifteen minutes or so, a little bit, yeah, during yeah. the Super Bowl. But, but still, fifteen twenty minutes to bring a stage in, yeah, bring in all these dancers, these the stars, lights. these people, and and they bring like people in oh, to yeah. watch it, like in the pit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then they have to get all of that shit back off the field, and then to play get football. it ready to play more football. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable to me <laughs> how. Fucking fast that shit goes. I can't wait. I'm gonna look that show up too. The Michael Jackson one. Yeah, I wish I had footage of it. We'd be playing it right now. We definitely gotta look that up. <laughs> or for just sure. do a show on Michael sure. Jackson. Mm-hmm. We probably couldn't though, just for the simple fact of all the copyright shit. Yeah, be impossible to even say his name. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can't. <laughs> we're probably gonna get DCMA right now <laughs> just for saying Michael Jackson. It's bullshit. Uh, but there is a top five thriller. list. Yeah, yeah. He had to do Thriller. Oh. He had to do Thriller. He had to do show, Thriller. Right? He had to do uh, Billy Jean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I Did he come out with those at that uh, time? I don't know what year those songs came out. Oh, they, those were early, yeah. Right. Those were the 80s for sure. It had to be, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Thriller came out in... Oh, yeah, 82. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. he had a whole catalog. Oh, of, yeah. Dang, that must have been a sweet... Crazy-ass. But for me, like... Uh, 
So I also um, speaking of that, the very first Super Bowl that took place January fifteenth, nineteen sixty seven. Mm-hmm. The halftime show was a little. It's kind of the same thing. Yep. You know the marching band or yep. whatever. But the thing that was cool about this one is the Three Stooges. Huh. Performed. That's a little, cool. Did a little skit or yeah. whatever. That's yeah. pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. So you know, I feel like it's only a matter of time before Kevin Hart does a thing at all oh, like the a, Super Bowl halftime show, like a little comedy a comedy thing. act. You know I mean, that I mean? would be cool. That like introduces or brings in something you know what new. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, these performers, they you know, I don't believe they get paid. It just ups their revenue. Oh yeah, they do. You know what I mean? Oh, they get paid. Oh yeah. Oh, paid. Oh wow, oh, big I didn't know money. That. I thought that it was just their sales spiked and they got nah. double paid. Nah, they get paid. Uh, Somebody pays them. No way these people are doing this <laughs> shit for free. No <laughs> shot, dude. I mean, I would do it for free. <laughs> right. You know, so you know, whoever runs the Super Bowl committee or whatever, you know, Have if, if you would like, you know, some cheap entertainment. We could do a show, dude. They should have us comment not not on the national. stage. We could host it not on a national stage, but we could do a, you know, we could comment. And now down to Matt and Oliver. Yeah, uh, we'd be like this. Uh, <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my yeah. god! <clears throat> so yeah, and then we get immediately pulled and escorted off the field. No, no, we're we're, <laughs> we're, yeah. we're here. I suppose. We're just throwing cards like confetti. <laughs> We're official, I swear. We got a lanyard. <laughs> um, so, yeah, other shows that stick out to me, um, I didn't really, none really kind of like stuck out to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I knew, um, I remember like the, there was like a rock one. I forgot who it was. I think it might have been U2 or something. Yeah. And it was cool. Like, there were bands that I didn't like that put on a good performance. Yeah. And then there I'll were... I'll tell you which one was, like, my least favorite, because that one sticks out to me like a sore thumb. It was... <clears throat> was it last year or two, two years ago, I think? It was Maroon 5. Oh, where the... And fucking What's-His-Face didn't have a shirt on for, like, yeah. the whole thing, dude. Yeah. It was just like, man... This Adam is Levine. Adam Levine. Yeah. This is a sorry fucking performance, man. Yeah. I just didn't like it at all. But yeah, so for me, my personal top five, Yeah. Um, my first one in there, and this is in no particular order, was Michael Jackson, 1993. Mm. Um, because it was, it, it, it set the precedent for what it is now, yeah. you know, and it's the reason that we're talking about this You're so right. on the show. And I mean, look at it so, now, it's instead of like, you know, before it would be like a single band or right. a single performer. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, let's bring in... Two performers. Right. Now we got five this year. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. come on. It's crazy. So, yeah, um, I got a top five list from Rolling Stone. Okay. Um, so, number five, and this might be one of you, on your list. I don't know yeah. if it is. I don't know if any of these are on your list. Um, Shakira and Jennifer Lopez. Of course, it's on my list. There's um there's no we don't have to explain why that's on the list. It was a good performance. It's J Lo and Shakira. <laughs> now here's the question for you, J Lo or Shakira? Oh my lord. Um I mean <laughs> I like J Lo, you know. But I mean I like Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> It's Shakira for me all day. That's why that was a... Shakira, Shakira! (laughs) And it was a good performance. I mean, it seemed like... I know everything's pre-recorded, but they put out a good show. Yeah. You know, for sure. And I think every guy in America is going to agree. And that became became like one of the most um, re-watched clips ever in the history of ever. Just talking... The one before that was... um, Janet Jackson, the, the boobie. Yeah, yeah. That was a good performance, too. Yeah. Timberlake's my man crush, so. Same. You know. His was good as well, because he did another one where he was the headline. Solo. Mm-hmm. How come that's not on the top And five? that was good, too. That one almost made my top five. But the only reason <laughs> it didn't was because in that one, he had just released a new album, and he was, like, kind of pushing that one. So he didn't do, like, his big hits. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He did, like, some 
some other ones. Yeah, that one. Um, and it was kind of stale. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was a good show, but it was... It would have been... Me a river. It would have been better if he just did... Yeah. You know... Just busted out. Some of his old school shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That everybody knows him for. Busted out with Bye, Bye, Bye. Yeah. That would have been sweet. <laughs> Got all the homies back together. Ain't no man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, all right. So my next one um, is The Rolling Stones, 2006. Oh. Um, and I liked this one because the stage that they had was in the shape of their logo. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Super, super cool, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they only performed three songs, uh, Start Me Up, Satisfaction, and Rough Justice. So, and then, so yeah. Gone. Or it's screwing around. It was c- cool for me because um, I've never seen, I tried to see bands in person, mm-hmm. you know, that, you know, just to say I saw them in person. I knew I was never going to be able to see that band. So for me, it was cool seeing them, yeah. you know, actually perform and, you yeah. know, not a YouTube video or anything right. like that. And they were still kicking ass, dude. Oh, yeah. They're great. All right, so number four for this list here, Aerosmith, Britney Spears, Sync, Nelly, and Mary J. Blige, 2001. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't either. And I wish I did because it sounds great. I mean, it, I, Britney and Saint Nelly. I mean, Mary J. Blige. I'm like, ah, that's cool. She's but, singing you know, back she'll be in this year. You know, 20 years later, she's back. Um, so yeah, I don't know uh, what that performance was about. And Aerosmith, like that's weird. So 2001, I was 22. I was 14. So I was. I can bet that I was pretty drunk yeah. during that Super Bowl. So I was probably just staring at Britney Spears. <laughs> She's so hot. Oh my gosh. She looks exactly like the poster in my room. <laughs> Stupid. So yeah, so, um, I don't know what song they played, but... I don't either. I have to look that Britney one up probably well. looked great, though. I'm sure. Uh, all right, Bruno Mars is my next one. Uh, 2014. Uh, he also appeared with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, mm. I liked this one because it was like an old school Motown vibe about yeah. it. Um, the stage that they had, you know what I mean, was like, you know, kind of like gold with like the yellow lights. Um, you know, he had like this, the shiny like blazer on, black pants, yeah. you know what I mean? So did all the backup. It's like 70s groove. No, like. Yeah, just like, just it, didn't. it just felt like pure just Motown, you know what I mean? And it was just like a <clears throat> classic, you know what I mean? The stage wasn't super crazy, nope. but there was a, a coolness about it because yeah. it was, it had that Motown vibe to it. And the thing is, is A, he's got some pretty good songs. Yep. B, he puts on a good show. He puts on a... He's a great performer. All around. Like, for sure. Yeah. I, he... If you were to to pick somebody who who was potentially... Not, you know, exactly, but the a modern day Michael Jackson... Yeah. Bruno Mars, to me, is always the one that comes into mind. Because he's a phenomenal dancer. Yeah. His videos, you know, always feature him, you know, dancing. They're, they're super catchy songs. All of them. You know what I mean? And he's very, like, pop... You know what I mean? Like, he can, he's like, it's it's, all over. Yeah. But but the way, like, he moves when he dances is like a, this generation's version of, obviously nobody's ever going to, you know, amount to the caliber or what Michael Jackson did for pop music, but, you know. Yeah. If we had the equivalent today, I think it would be brutal. And you got to think about it. He's got hits after hits. Oh, yeah. Everything he touches is ridiculous. Hits. He's got multiple music videos on YouTube that have over... That have billions of views, dude. Per video, he's got one video uh, that's got two point two billion views. Billion with a B. And him, and and he gets paid for that. Oh yeah, dude. Big time. Which is good. I mean, I do like Bruno Mars. Yeah, me so. too. He's a good. He seems like he's a cool. And that performance dude. was good. So like, if he yeah. ever does come around, I will go see. Him. Oh, I'll go see Bruno Mars. Absolutely, for sure. It'd be me and the fucking teeny boppers. Okay. I don't give a shit. We'll go. We'll start. I don't shit. give a shit. I'll take my daughter, so I don't seem like a creepy we'll old be, man. We'll be in the adult section, right? <laughs> yeah, with all the other dads, <laughs> right? Uh, number three, Beyonce. 
You knew she was going to be on the Dude, list. Dude, that's on my list. Is it? That's on my list. Her and Destiny's Child. Yep. 2013. She's a, she's another one that's got... She's a good performer. She's got good songs. Yeah. You knew... She, I mean, you knew she was going to be on this list. Yeah, for sure. But that one was cool for me because... So the stage, like how they had the stage in a shape, right? Mm -hmm. So they had... So it was a circle... But then the stage was cut out to look like the side profile of a face. Ah. And it was one side here and one side here. So that like the two faces were like looking at each other. And the space in the middle, which was the actual like uh. runway to the stage, was the face. But then, you know, they had it outlined like this <clears throat> with a light as well. And that area between the face and like the back of the head yeah. was where the, the like the pit was and the people were standing. Uh. And then I slightly remember after that turned off and they like focused on the stage itself. There was just this huge silhouette with lights in that pose that like Beyonce always does, like when she first starts a song, you know, with her hand on her hip and the leg out. So they had like this this light of her like that, and then the light turned off and the other light turned on, and there she was standing exactly like the it fucking. I thought it was cool as shit. Yeah. So she's good. Yeah. But then, you know, it was cool to see Destiny's Child come back and do a couple of their I'm songs. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. <laughs> but, dude, so I went back and I watched this one again. And one of the coolest fucking parts about this show was when when Kelly and Michelle mm -hmm. came in, the other two from Destiny's okay. Child. They came in on this little platform that raised up from below the stage. But it came up fast. And so when it came up, like, they jumped oh, in. Shit. It was like, zoom, boom. And, like, they landed. But they were both wearing, like, fucking heels and shit. Yeah. It's like, holy shit. They literally just shot them up from mm. underneath the fucking stage, dude. Can you imagine if they come through and they were, like, falling before it shot up? Oh, you know right. what I mean? And they come up sideways, like, through a fucking thing. <laughs> God, that would have been crazy. And that's the thing with, like, all these female um, performers. Mm -hmm. Dude, they run around in all the in these high heels. Yeah. And they're not just little. No. There's, like, big-ass heels. Yep. So, yeah. Um, number two on my list is U2. Oh, U2. <laughs> number two. I you remember that. Two. And I, the, their performance was pretty simple, kind of like the Rolling Stones. Yeah. They just did three songs and, you know, they're popular ones and then they were out. Yeah. So. That's always cool. I mean, I'm not a U2 fan. I am not either. I never thought that they were... But, dude, they're huge. I know, dude. It's so stupid. It's kind of like, like Coldplay. You like Coldplay? No. It's Coldplay. They're gigantic, though. I know. <laughs> it's, 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 I just don't get it, dude. Someone the other day was like, uh, they were like, oh, yeah, I love Coldplay. And I was like, you do? And I was right. like, said no one ever. Yeah, I was like, I don't even know one of the, if I heard it. Oh, I would know it if I heard it. And I'd probably be irritated because I probably like the song. I just don't know that it's Coldplay. Exactly. It's like one of those. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, this is Coldplay? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Well, it's like everybody hates Nickelback, too. <clears throat> oh, but you know their songs. Bro, I like Nickelback. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> but I like. I don't like saying it because like there's such like a, you know, a stigma against... Should I bleep uh, that out? Against Nickelback, dude. <laughs> Put I'll that on TikTok. <laughs> I like Nickelback, okay? Actually, Nickelback was the first concert I ever went to without, like, parents. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, the first one I ever went to by myself, it was yeah. me, Ben, and my friend Beth. Yeah. Um, and we were, like, I don't know, 14, maybe 15, uh, Darien Lake. Oh, yeah. We had, we scored free tickets from something, so we spent, <laughs> A one my dad lie. drove us up there, or my mom drove us up, somebody drove us up there, um... Yeah, you know, so we had some cigarettes and we spent the day inside Darien Lake. And I was waiting on a different story. These five words in my head scream, Are we having fun yet? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but that's another band that has a ton of fucking hits. Everybody likes Nickelback, dude. They just don't want to say it because they're scared. But we ain't scared no more! <laughs> I love you, Nickelback. Oh, man. So, you, yeah, Nickelback. they got a lot of hits, too. Mm -hmm. so oh, man, I can't believe you started singing that song. <laughs> that was great. I was like, I know I know one. I know I Everybody know one. Everybody knows them. Yeah. 
There's a picture one too. I know. Something with a picture. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna start singing all the Nickelback songs. Okay, let me. Just, I just came out. Okay, <laughs> let me ease my way. Let me ease my way into this. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just came I can't out. Just get up on stage and you know. So you know the picture I'm talking. About. Yeah, I know, man. I know the song. I'm already singing in my head, dude. So don't even worry about it. But just you know, like I said, once, come to me, come to me, so I can blurt that shit out. One step at a uh, time, bro. Once, you know, baby steps. Okay, so um, <coughs> we do a show on Nickelback. <laughs> we might as well. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> oh man, yeah. So that rounded out my top five. Okay, so I got the number one from Rolling Stone magazine. Which, this one was pretty amazing. Is it Rolling Stones? No, it should have been. That would have been perfect. Um, Prince, 2007. Prince always puts on a good show. He's, yeah, so... Unpopular opinion, I'm not a huge Prince fan. I mean, I'm not you know, a... I like Nickelback, yeah. I don't like Prince. <laughs> Jesus. What's wrong get, with you? You know, it's a good thing that not a lot of people watch this, because I've been getting... I'd be getting crucified online right now. This is the show that's about to blow up. I know. Because I'm going to hashtag I, And I'm going to be that guy hashtag. forever. Well, you know what? While we're at it, I don't like the fucking Beatles. <laughs> so, you know, there. Um, but I do remember this um, performance. I'm not a huge Prince fan, but he did put on a good show. Oh, yeah. And the songs that he did play, you know, they sounded in Yes. Yeah. And cool. I'm not trying to say that I don't like Prince. No, right, right. You know yeah. what I mean? Because, I mean, a sensational performer, yeah. I know, musician you know, a ton of his songs. Oh, a, an incredibly talented Amazing. musician. His stuff just never, like, hit me in the mm-hmm. feels like, you know, like yeah. a lot of diehard fans. You know what I mean? But yeah. I, I, if, if I had had the opportunity in the past to see one of his shows, oh, I would have best. absolutely gone. I would have absolutely gone. But he is an amazing, like, he just, besides music, he does production, he oh, writes yeah. songs, he guitar, and... Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I think a lot of people forget how good of an actual musician oh, yeah. he truly was. Especially guitarist. You know what he I mean? was, like, one of the yeah. top guitarists in the world. Yeah. The guy was nasty. <clears throat> he was, like, a weird mix between, like, Jimi Hendrix and Michael Jackson. Yeah. You know? He had his own lane, and you weren't... You weren't getting on that lane. Nope. We're <laughs> getting on that lane. So, um, <laughs> with the national anthems, though, do you like the national anthems? When oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, so, there's been a lot of them. There's only one that sticks out to me that just like... I mean, every time I hear the national anthem, I get chills. Oh, same. Same. No Especially matter when what. it's sung really well, too. Ooh. You know what I mean? Somebody butchers it, and I'm like, I get like mad. It pisses that they me butchered off. it, you know what I mean? But when somebody sings it and they kill it, oh. it's just amazing. So yeah. for me, the um, <laughs> the number one um, national anthem, Whitney mm-hmm. Houston. I mean, it's you're Whitney. Dude, I don't necessarily remember it, but I can. I think imagine. it was the Bills Giants. I can imagine what it sounds, what it sounded like, because yeah. it's. I mean, it's dude, it's it's Whitney, dude. It was one of the most. I'm gonna have to look that up later. So we gotta watch Michael Jackson halftime, halftime show yep. and Whitney Houston's national anthem. Dude, it is so incredible, I'll have to crazy. Watch it. I'll have to watch it. So the other top ones are um, Luther Vandross, Mariah Carey, Garth oh. Brooks. Shocker. Uh, I don't really. That one didn't really stick out to me, but Jennifer Hudson. She just got an amazing voice. John Bronson has a great voice. Didn't wasn't she was on um I think American Idol. I believe so. Yeah. She came in like second or something. Like she didn't even win. And she another She's one. got a crazy voice. Crushed it. Yeah, it was good. Carrie Underwood, another oh. American Idol. She's my American Idol. It got a little crushed there. Oh, dude, I've had a cr- I watched that whole season. <clears throat> on, her, her. on her first audition. Yeah. I was watching it with my mom. I was like, she's gonna win. She oh, you called whole, it? I was like, she's going to win the whole thing. Did yeah. she win it? You can, yeah, she won it. Oh, you didn't even ask my mom. I said, as soon as she, she was like four notes in, I was like, Ma, I was like, she's going to win the whole entire show. And we loved her on the show, so we like we kept rooting for her the whole time. Don't you hate that? Mm-hmm. So one year, I watched American, I just, the first show. Yep. It was, um, I forgot who it was, but there was this one chick, and I literally watched it the whole season because of her. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah, and then Cher, to round it out. 
Of course, Cher. She's she's yeah. She's uh, obviously older. She's not really our times, but she put on yeah. a good show. It was when she came back, you know, like get get yeah. the turn back time. But yeah. But Whitney Houston, obviously, to me, was the best one so far. Yeah. I mean, I do like when the guys play the instruments and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. flutes, trumpets, guitars. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So that is our halftime show. Yep. For this week. Yep. I'm Uh, excited about the the upcoming one. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't (laughs) suck. It won't. Because that would suck. Yeah. If it sucked. But, uh, you know, but I think the halftime show this year will be good. You got Snoop. I got Dr. Dre. Let yep. us know who you think will come out first. Or it's we'll, going to be Eminem. Well, the, it's going to be. Or it'll be Dr. Dre. And, you know, I'm going to lose five bucks. Gut feeling. Hey, we got a. Oh, look at this. We got a guest in this on the show today. We have a guest. She just knocked down our other camera that yep. is our backup camera. Yeah, that will be on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that will be on the behind the scenes yeah. season nine. And it's, also, this is our first uh, first show of season nine. Is it? So yes, yeah, Saya, thank you for that. Yeah. And um, our new studio cat. Yeah, our new studio cat. She's trying to be the most famous cat yeah. in um, yeah. Rochester. Yeah. And of course, you know, I've, I've been here for like a little over an hour now. <laughs> um, it's my first time meeting Matt's new cat, um, and she wouldn't come to me for the whole entire time I've been here. But now. Yep. That we're filming. Yeah. And we're live and, you know, whatever. Uh, she wants to get right up in there. She so knows. She's a fan of mine already because she likes to be on camera. Yep. Or he. She. She. Zaya. She. Yep. Yeah. So, yes. That is well, our that one is our, drink. That is our one drink for the show. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, guys, don't forget, you can check out all of our shows every single week, including History, Medal of Honor, and uh, our full-length shows on oh, our yeah. page at uh, One Drink Podcast on YouTube and Facebook. You can also mm-hmm. listen to us on all major platforms. And don't forget, please, just do us this one favor uh, and hit that sub button and click on the bell notification to be the first ones notified. And also, just share with one person. One drink, one <clears throat> share. That's it. Every time you have a drink, you need to share our podcast. It's pretty simple. It's pretty. It's super easy. The, the, the math behind it is pretty, pretty Pretty simple. simple. One plus one equals one. one. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like watching that <laughs> set into your brain. The math behind it's pretty simple. Yeah, one plus one equals one. Uh, but anyways, guys. <laughs> until next time. See ya. Cheers. I was like, isn't it two? <laughs> I watched that in your brain. <laughs> like I watch, I watched it because you were like. <laughs> You're like, no, one, one plus one is two. Uh, oh, man. Oh, oh. oh. That was great. Two shares. Thanks, I for that. That's going to be funny. That shit's going to be funny. And I was waiting for her to do that the well, whole time. Too. Her face would yeah. be like here. Yep. It's going to be funny, too, if you could catch a frame where it's just like. Oh, yeah. It's yep. all on there. Yep. That's going to be great. <laughs>